You know, my day did start pretty well because Drake dropped the new album. But then I went to go play ball. The music got me hyped. So maybe I was playing a little bit harder. I was getting buckets. And then I literally rolled my ankle for the Bruh. first time in like three years. Now I could barely walk. But it's okay because today... I'm gonna unbox this kind of mystery box. I know one of the shoes in here. I don't know the rest of them, but I'm gonna unbox these and then I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing with every sneaker in this box because I'm not keeping them. But I also did get a few other sneakers too, with one of them being something crazy that no one's really talking about. Some people are talking about it, but not really everybody. And also I have some major announcements. I'll just go ahead and say it. Sneakerheads be like October. What was the date again? October 14th. So next Saturday, in one week, the Sneakerheads Be Like Part 12 is coming out on the Kai Somar channel. Not this channel, my other channel, which is 30K away from 1 million subscribers. So go subscribe to that channel, all right? Now let's open up this box to start things off. Damn it, I gotta get up to get my tripod. Watch this. Oh, I can use this as a crutch at least. All right, so this box right here, the reason why I told you I'm not keeping all the shoes in this box is because I'm giving them away to you guys. That's right, your favorite time of the day is here. It's a whatnot promo, but hey, literally, how can you complain about whatnot promos? Because every single promo is a giveaway. And in this case, there's multiple shoes. So let's go ahead and unbox what we got. So this one right here, I did not know this was coming in the box, but size eight and a half Air Jordan SB, which means it can only be one shoe. I know y'all hate when I say this, but potential sneaker of the year. All right, next up, when I say potential, by the way, guys, let me make this disclaimer. I'm not saying it's my sneaker of the year. I'm talking about everybody. Some people might have this sneaker of the sneaker of the year. Some people might have this sneaker of the sneaker of the year. I might have the next sneaker that I'm going to pull out. Is there three in here? Yes, there is three in here. And that one is in there is also also bleh. Boom, the SB Born and Raised Nike Dunks. I did also pick these up for myself. Shout out to Soul Steels because I got my pair from them. Bam. Look at the box. J Balvin, Jordan, threes. Boom, check these out right here. Here's the full breakdown. Like three potential sneakers of the year. And we're giving all three of them away for free on Whatnot this Monday. Because Monday is Whatnot Sneakers Day. Basically, if you go to my Whatnot account right now, you're gonna see a show that is scheduled right there, all right? So all you gotta do is follow me on Whatnot and go bookmark the show. We're going live pretty early for the first time as well. Usually I go live at nighttime. Since it's Sneakers Day, there's a whole schedule of people who are going to be live and doing different giveaways. So not only am I gonna be giving away shoes, but a bunch of other dope people on Whatnot are gonna be giving away stuff. So you definitely wanna go do your research, find out who's given what. But as far as what I'm giving away, we're giving away J Balvin 3s, Born and Raised Dunks, and we're giving away the SB Jordan 4s. I literally stopped filming this video because I heard Seth was live on Whatnot right now. He has a pair of shoes that I want to try to win, and he's also about to give away a pair of the Born and Raised Dunks. So I'm going to try to enter the giveaway to see if I win. If I win, then y'all are going to say it's rigged. But I'm also going to try to win a pair of the Reimagined Jordan 1 Royals. Just to show you guys how it works, I'm going to try to win those right now on his stream. I don't know if I had him inside the box. They go with a set of blue laces. These drop on November 4th. Kai Somar in the lead. Shout out to Kai. Three, out to two, Kais. one. I think it's your it's size, boom, it's hey, mine. Shout out to Kai Somar. No, Let's go. Kais. W. So as you guys can see, there's no giveaway on the screen right now. It's literally going to pop up. Look, it's going to pop up right there. See, Here we go. Watch follow watch and enter. Right That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. And then after five minutes, it will select one person to win the giveaway. But here we go. Look, who's going to win? Boom, that's the winner right there. So unfortunately, it wasn't me. Shout out to Seth for also being a whatnot, part of the whatnot family. So again, I'll leave the link down below. Click the link. And if you use my link to sign up, you're also gonna get $10 off your first purchase. So even if you buy something off of me, you can use that $10 off code. So you get a little bit of a discount. But if you just wanna tune in and possibly win one of these shoes for free, you're more than welcome to. Again, the link is gonna be at the top of the description. I'll see you guys on the whatnot lot, whatnot. Ah, oh, I was so close to doing that perfect. See you guys on the What Not Live this Monday, 12 p.m. PST for the crazy giveaway. Three shoes, three winners, and maybe some more surprises. You never know. All right, now we are done 
with those. So the main sneaker I want to unbox for you guys is one that a lot of people aren't talking about and I think it's just because Nike is really keeping it kind of low key in a way. It's like kind of one of those things where if you know, you know. I'm sure people have seen it online, but there's not really a lot of hype around it. Like you don't, you're not seeing it blasted everywhere. You're not seeing people with early pairs and maybe that's why. Is people getting early pairs building hype for sneakers? Because there's literally no way you can get an early pair of this shoe. The only way you can get this shoe is if you had the crypto artifact NFT. Again, I, I really don't even know how you could get this shoe. And this is not, is not even my shoe. One of my good friends over at in the UK, Calheim, he actually he has the, I don't know, the NFT or whatever it is to be able to purchase this shoe right here. For those of you guys that don't know what artifact is, it's like a NFT company that was acquired by Nike. I actually know the owner, Zapdio. I did a giveaway with them when they were in the early stages of launching the company. And it's pretty crazy that now they're actually owned by Nike. You know, I wish I got one of these shoes sent to me as like, I don't know, a grandfathered in since I was doing a giveaway for these shoes back in the day or uh, their shoes back in the day, but I still was able to get a pair to unbox for you guys. The reason why he sent it to me was they don't ship to the UK. You needed a US address to be able to get this shoe. So he had them shipped to me. I'm gonna unbox them, show them to you guys with his permission. Obviously he told me I could do that. And I'm gonna send it over to him so he can have his crypto kicks so yeah crypto kicks it's basically i don't know man there's rumors where it's like the future of sneakers i've personally never been heavy into the whole crypto or nft thing i never really got into it here it is all right we're gonna unbox it because these things are pretty dope i've seen images of them online kind of have an idea of what they look like and um here they are. Look at these things. This shoe really looks like the future of sneakers, but it also just reminds me of all the auto lace sneakers that Nike released a couple years back, like the Adapt BBs, which is a shoe that I got to test out on court with Nike a few years back. It also did Jordan 11 Adapt. So they've done this tech where it's like an auto lace shoe. You just step into it and you can like literally like loose. Is it dead? Oh man, I think these things are dead. I should have charged them. Hopefully this one has some juice in it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, they're tightening right now. Oh, also, quick reminder, I am gonna be at Washington DC Got Soul. It's the first ever Got Soul in Washington DC in the DMV, one of my favorite places. So I'm super, super hyped. I haven't done an event in DC since my tour, which was like 2017, I believe. So yeah, if you're from the DMV, you definitely need to pull up. I'll leave the link for tickets down below as well. So Got Soul DC, make sure y'all pull up. It's gonna be a great, great time. D DC got soul October 21st. I'll be in the building. Take it down below and I'll see you guys there. So yeah, they auto lace. You press these buttons. I think you could connect the phone to the shoe and you could do it from your phone because you could do that with the basketball shoes that they released a few years ago. But crazy thing about this shoe, where's the charger at? Hold on, let me see. All right, so it's got this little box at the bottom. All right, so this is the charging tablet. It's a lot smaller than the old BB Adapt shoes. But the crazy thing about this shoe is that it is a Nike made shoe, but there's literally no Nike branding on this shoe. There's no swoosh, not on the bottom. The only Nike branding that I see is the Adapt logo underneath the tongue, which is black on black, and then the Nike logo on the inside tag. I think Nike kind of like, they dabbled into the NFT space, I think, right around a little too late or maybe they just launched too late to the point where you know the nft hype kind of was dying down and i think that's why they kind of like distanced themselves from saying nike or putting swooshes on here i don't know again i'm not really heavy into this whole nft thing but the fact that there's literally it's a nike shoe but there's just literally no nike branding oh there's air zoom on the outsole which is very hard to see, but you could tell it's a Nike shoe. So guys, like I said earlier in the video, we are bringing back the Kais Omar channel. I do this about once a year. I only upload for about half the year on the Kais Omar channel, and then I'll take a break just because I don't want the content on that channel to get too stale or repetitive. So I take a little bit a break and then I come back. So it's that time of year again. We did the last sneaker heads in October of last year. So we're doing it again this year. So again, Saturday, October 14th at 9 a.m. Sneakerheads be like part 12. I know we're on 12 episodes, which sounds crazy, but a 
hey man in my opinion it's literally every single one of them is great in their own right i'm excited to keep making them because y'all love them that's the when people come up to me and they show love one of the first things they say is that they you know found me through the sneakerheads be like series so if i want to keep you know connecting with y'all and entertaining y'all we got to keep banging out the sneakerheads be like even if we get to episode 500 all right i don't know if i'm gonna do that but the next one is coming out like i said we got the og crew in it harris swag wg ahmed fire kicks like everybody's in the video i also have a few more scenes that i need to film this coming week in la so hopefully my ankle is acting right by then but regardless we're gonna be releasing the trailer midweek and then i'm gonna be releasing the actual video next saturday so hopefully you guys are ready man and if you aren't subscribed to that channel please go do so because again i'm trying to hit a million million subscribers over there we're trying to get two gold pla plaques we're trying to add another one right there thank y'all for tuning in i'm gonna go ice my ankle now and maybe order some pizza to make myself feel better all right i'm out ain't no gimmick don't need no gimmicks got no limits i'm spinning